Hi, I'm Mrs. Harris. I'm a para at Kershaw, and I am going to be reading Chapter 11 out of Tom Swift, Inventors Academy, The Incursion Inversion. So there are three hackers in on this, asked Noah. It seems like it, I replied. We sat alone in algebra class the next morning. We were so early that we were the only ones there. The four of us had agreed to get to school early to spy on the server room. Noah and I had texted each other, coming up with some modifications to the hacker tracker. First of all, Noah had worked on a new controller. He had boosted its range so we wouldn't have to hide under the basement stairs. With Noah's new controller, we would be able to operate the drone from anywhere in the school. The interference from the servers wouldn't be a problem. I, on the other hand, had come seriously close to telling my father. The thing that finally stopped me was the same reason as before, lack of physical evidence. So I decided to modify a computer table to not only see what our VR headsets saw, but also to record what we saw. I connected it to an external hard drive to hold all the video data. We now had a couple of terabytes to hold evidence against Mr. Conway or Shadowhawk or whoever he was, and his accomplices. Sam and Amy entered the classroom. I saw Mr. Conway out in the hall, Sam said, as he set her backpack on her desk. S sorry, Sam said as she set her backpack on her desk. Good, I said. That will give us some time to reposition the drone for the best view of the computer screen. I made some final adjustments to me by my VR headset. Amy sat her stuff down and joined us. Can I co-pilot again? Hey, that's my gig, said Noah. It's our drone, remember? That's true, I said, but Amy was great last time. Noah pointed to the tablet. Yeah, but we're recording everything now, he said. We don't need a ph photographic memory. Amy, Sam, and I exchanged glances. I really think sh you should let her do it, man, I said. Why, asked Noah. He's trying to tell you that we don't need one of us throwing up during the mission, Sam said. Noah shook his head. It's going to be like that, is it? Please, Amy pleaded. It was so cool last time. Noah sighed and handed her his headset. Fine. While she geared up, Sam and Noah crowded around the table. Let's hope the range extender works, I said. I don't know how all four of us would fit under the stairs. It'll work, said Noah. And don't mind me about cramped places. <laughs> Sorry. It'll work, said Noah. And don't remind me about cramped places. I turned on the headset and then powered up the remote. I flickered flicked the camera switch and the server room flicked into view. Told you it would work, said Noah. The lights are already on, Amy observed. Mr. Conway must have just left the basement, said Sam. I'm going to test the microphone, I said. I flicked another switch on the remote and the white noise of the hard drive fans hissed through my earbuds. And we have sound, said Noah. I can barely see the computer screen from here, said Amy. The computer screen was in the bottom left side of the footage. A blurry black shape obscured half of it. It must have been part of the dark fabric on which the drone was placed. Hey, Noah said, we were in kind of a hurry to get out of here. There, I aimed the camera as best I could. Don't worry, I said, I'll reposition it. From our angle, I could see that no one was sitting in front of the computer. It was safe to power up the drone. I pushed up the left joystick to engage the drone's motors. The view shifted as the drone raised an inch off the shelf. I adjusted the right joystick to rotate the drone to the left. Now the entire compu computer screen was dead center. I released the left joystick and the drone settled back down on the shelf. What's on the screen? asked Amy. Is that a weird screensaver? The computer screen was black except for lines of green type. The lines appeared row by row from the top to the bottom. When the screen was full, the type disappeared and new lines appeared from the top again. That's not like the one we saw before, said Noah. Can you zoom in on it, asked Sam. This camera can't zoom, I said fixedly, but I can move the drone closer. I worked on the controls again and the drone rose off the shelf. The computer grew in the view screen as the drone drifted down toward it. Having been in the server room already, it felt surreal piloting the drone there. It seemed as if I were back in that room all over again. Goose bumps raised on my skin as if I could feel the room's frigid air. The drone hovered closer to the screen, close enough to make out what was happening. Dude, that's computer code, said Noah. 
It's moving so fast I can't tell if it's compiling, transferring, or encrypting data. We're recording. We're recording, right? I asked him. As soon as you turned on the camera, Noah replied. Good, I said. You can analyze it later, frame by frame if you have to. Although all of us were decent programmers, it was one of the first classes they taught us at the academy. Noah was the best programmer I knew. If anyone could make sense of the code, it would be him. Just hold there a few more seconds that Noah instructed. I want to collect a bit more. I let the drone hover in place for a few seconds longer. Wow, said Amy. Do you think they already hacked into your father's company? I don't know, I replied. I hope not. I felt a knot in my stomach. What if we were too late? What if they had already stolen Swift Enterprise's secrets? I could have stopped all this. I could have told my father, convinced him somehow that this was real and not some wild conspiracy. I took a deep breath and told myself that at least we now had evidence that something fishy was going on. We just had to get Mr. Conway and his accomplices on video in the act. I'm going to put the drone back, I announced. I pulled the drone away from the computer and made it hover higher. I wasn't a skilled enough pilot to simply back it onto the shelf the way it had flown down. I'll have to turn it to see where I was going. I nudged the right joystick to rotate the drone to the right. A large, smiling face came into view. It was the tall, thin man from the day before. We were face to face with Conway's accomplice.